Good morning, all. Well. My name is Dr. Chukka Shantaya, Associate Professor of the Computer Science and Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. In previous classes, we discussed about the machine learning, classification of machine learning, well post learning problems, and some concepts in design, designing a learning system. In classification machine learning, classification of machine learning, we are discuss about the types of the machine learning, supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. Let us come to the well-posted learning problem. We discuss about the uh, three examples based on the set of tasks, means T tasks, as well as we can measure the some performance, means about the P, and we can get the some experience. Indicates of E. So, based on these key features, there is a class of works or class of tasks or measure the performance and training experience. In well post, well, post, well post learning problems, we discuss three concepts. First one is playing a checkers game, means learning a checkers playing, checkers learning problem. Second one is to, to recognize the handwritten recognition problem. Third one is Robotic autonomous vehicle driving. In these three things, we discuss mainly what is the main task is there, as well as how we can measure the performance, how we can get some training experience in this well post learning problems. Main task, each and every problem has their main task. When it comes to the checker scheme, as well as uh, handwritten recognition problem, and uh, uh, autonomous driving vehicle by the robo like that. And then we discuss about the designing a learning system. In this designing a learning system, we discuss two concepts. First one is choosing a training experience. Second one is choosing a target function. We have completed two concepts, two attributes, two main key issues are there in designing a learning system or main two steps are discussed in the previous classes. That is about the Previous classes and this class is continuous, continuation of the well possible uh, continuation of the designing a learning system. Right. In this uh, designing a learning system, we discuss five steps are there. First one is choosing learning experience, choosing target function, choosing representation of target function, and choosing function approximation. And the final design. In the previous class, we discussed about the two concepts. There is about the choosing training experience and choosing training target function. In this first step, there is about the choosing training experience. We are mainly select which type of training we can give the system, which type of the training to the give the machine or human being. Means type of training experiences depends on success or failure of the learner. Means if any learner is trying to take some training, what type of training we can provide to the learner? For example, as per our discussion, we are writing a program to implement a code or we write a program or we implement some app application. That application about the playing a checkers game. Means we are trying the mission to play a checkers game in a world competition and try to win the game in that competition or in the tournament. To prepare that, to prepare to win the game in that tournament, we are trying the machine. Means what type of the training experience we are provided to that machine. In the training experience, choosing training experience, mainly focused to three attributes are there, especially we are uh, success or failure. Means a significant impact is there about the training experience on failure or success of the person or maybe learner. In this choosing training experience, first one is mainly described about three key attributes. First one is we are trying the mission, either providing a direct training or indirect training. First attribute about the 
that it, that attribute is make some impact on failure or success of the machine or the learner. Means based on this training, that is direct um, direct training as well as indirect training, the learner means the learner will be success or win the or lose the game means success or failure about the training experience. So in this direct mechanism, direct training as well as we can provide the indirect training. Direct training we are providing some directly, we are giving some instructions. Indirect training we are giving some hints, not direct training. Again, second attribute means about the first attribute, uh, first attribute about the success or failure of the learner. Second attribute means it is about the control the sequence of examples or training examples. Means controls the sequence of training examples. Second one is control the sequence of training examples. We will discuss how we can take training, how we can control. For example, we are given some training, direct training. It is a one type of the control is there in training examples. By right? making some suggestions as well as making some guidelines. And in the training, we are given some third party or we give some other trainings. Means that is about the control the sequence of training examples. Next, third one is there. That is about the third one, which is about the second attribute about the success or failure of the learner. Third attribute is the means. Distribution of training examples means distribution of training examples means we get some different experience about the distribution examples means we are getting some training process about, about your surroundings. It is a one type of experience as well as nearby school or college grounds. It is a Another training example as well as another type of the experience we can learn, we can get. And public places, in the four ways, we can drive the car. Like that, we come to these all these three parameters, the about the direct as well as indirect training experience, as well as control the sequence of training examples, as well as distribution training examples is also applied to the checker scheme, playing a checker scheme. We are using the training to the direct, we can get some experience. Based on that experience, we win the car, we win the competition. Again, training examples, control of sequence means based on the knowledge as well as based on the training experience, you may select the best choice or best move from the checker spot. And third, third parameter means about the train distribution of examples, training examples. It depends on the playing a game with system or with your friends or with your colleague. It is depends on the its training experience. These are the main three attributes are there to success or failure the learner based on the training experience. In this step, in this step, we are mainly concentrated which type of training we can get it. Based on the training experience, we are trying to win the game as well as we can try to lose the game based on the lack of experience. Second one, second step is in the designing learning system. That is about the choosing the target function. In this choosing a target function is nothing but a, we are choosing two options, means two directions are being two considerations. Direct training experience as well as the indirect training experience. Means whenever we get some training experience, direct training experience, direct experience, we can move it. We take some checkers game, you can try to play a game with the mission, for example. Direct training means Based on your training experience, we can try to play a game based on your experience. You can move directly by yourself as well as with yourself and going on. Whereas come to the indirect, we play the game and we have some confusion, we have some doubt which, which move the best move from among, among the different objects, different possibilities of the moves. In that context, the machine can be given some hint about the can move some more means it is highlighting or it may be given some hint or maybe it may be highlighting some icons or some symbols that is about the indirect. Whereas come to direct, the direct mechanism, we can choose some notation that is about the choose move means 
we are selecting the choose move means board state is there as well as we can move the optimal one or best move or means legal move that is about the choose move direct mechanism means directly we can board state from the board state we can make a move that move must be legal move as well as it must be leads to the success the game as well as or win the game means that is thing about, about the direct training experience next indirect training experience in this indirect training experience we have some target function that is about the for target function v v is indicates board state as well as r indicates some real score means in this indirect experience there is some alternate paths are there that means alternate number of options are number of possibilities are there to move from the current to the board state to the next state to lead the win the to lead to win the game so here v is a function is target function whereas come to the b is indicates board state as well as r indicates real score of the target function and next to move means for example we have some chances we can take here itself means we can take some example about the some moves from here itself. we can try to give some one more uh, training uh, one more example with some checkers board ma In previous class, I can give some explanation about it, but somewhat some repetition there is. Okay. Here, current move is there. We have some alternate means based on the uh, checkers game. We have some only diagonal. Some real score is there. Means some probability is there to win the game. We can make some moves, movement. Means it is, for example, in this direction, we have sixty percent of the chances are there to win the game. Probability sixty percent. In this direction, we can take some seventy percent of the chances are there to win the game. In this direction, only we have only fifty percent of the chances. Means here high score is real high score is seventy seventy percent. So here current voice is middle of the board is about the here board state is B means board state R value is called seventy percent means the probability is R value is called seventy percent means about the there is chance for the seventy percent of the winning chances. That is. And then we are playing a game, and we reach to the final state. For example, means for example, if B is the final board state, that is one. Means target function. Means here we are represents B is the final state, and win the game. That value is become as a plus hundred. There is a board game. And B is the final state, but the B will be lose the game or lost the game. So. It values minus hundred, and then B is the final state, but uh, final state, but game will be drawn. So its value is called zero. In case B is not final state, and B is also not, uh, and game is not completed. So in that case, we are finding the board state, and we are moving to the legal most optimally, and finally complete the game. Means we can move one by one optimally, means somewhat in reasonable way. Then we can start it. So in that context, automatically we are select the different moves. Whereas come to the target function is differs. Means if we are win the game, we can get the score value is hundred. Means it appears. You lose the game, minus hundred. A draw the game, it may be zero. If not final state as well as the game is not completed, again we can restart the game and we can start it. Right. Next one is third function, third step of the designing a learning system is choosing a representation of a target function. Means here representation tax. Our target function is we have defined in the target function in the previous step that is about the to reach the we can make to make any move. We can make a move. That move must be leads to the win the game or success the game. Win the game. That is a board target function. Means we are select the target function is best to move from among, among the different possibilities or different moves. We are selecting move. Means we are deciding target function in previous step. And how we can represent the target function? In this designing a learning system, here we take some example about the discussion about the representation about the target function. 
For example, uh, image processing subject is that. Digital image processing. That digital image processing, we are defining image, for example. This image, we are trying to define image or meaning about the image. Simply we can say, as per our knowledge, means it is a two dimensional two dimensional light intensity function that is about the meaning about the light intensity intensity function that is about the image general representation but when we discuss means we need some representation this sentence format in some equation or some mathematical notation for example Means as per our analysis, image is nothing but it is a two dimensional light intensity function. We can define like this. But we need some representation. This not English word as well as sentences in mathematics, some notation, some representation. Means it is represents image. Means y is equal to f of x, comma y. That is mathematical reference about the image. How? As well as we are simply defined, means it is give some clear de definition about the simple definition about the image. It is a two dimensional light intensity function. But when I quote this some representation, this somewhat differs. Means y is equal to f of x comma y. Here each and every character, each and every word, each and every character has some specific representation about the image representation. Whereas x comma y is a coordinates. Means it is a x comma y is a coordinates of the images. Whereas f is equal to, it is a frequency or amplitude of the image or some specific location. Whereas x comma y image is nothing but it is towards the output that is about the y. Means finally, finally, y is nothing but it is image. That image is formed. With the help of the two coordinates at a specific location or a specific pixel values or maybe specific amplitude or frequency or domain. That is simple representation about the image. As well as we can take about a simple example about the somewhat simple program. We can take addition of two numbers, for example. In the addition of two numbers, we can simply one thing means C is equal to A plus B. But we can make some state statement, addition of two numbers. But a representation is differs, whereas C is equal to A plus B. Like that, how we can represent the target function in designing a learning system in representation point of view. We can simply say representation about the target function. We can take some board states, do some checkers board. It contains rows and columns. Means it represents rows and columns. This is called is a board states. Means board state. These are the reference moves of the board states. Moves. For example, board state is B1 indicates. In this board states, where the our checkers coin is there or checker piece is there. Means about for example, here it is there. In the first board state, the moment in the coin is in second place. For example, B2 board state, the coin is made about the other coin, our trust, our pieces in third state. Means in the board state, second board state, it is placed in third. Like it means we are represents different ways, different board states as well as different locations about the person. how we can represent the, this one in how we can represent the target function in this designing a learning system, how it is represents.
Now it is time to choose a representation that learning program will be used to describe the weak cap. That is target function that we will have. The representation the target function V can be as follows. To keep the discussion simple, let us choose simple representation of any given board state. The function, target function V cap will be calculated as the linear combination of the following board features. Miss, we can represent. How we can represent the board states? And it follows some board features. Who are the various board states? We can take some example. First one, x1 of b is number of black pieces on the board. Means x1 is indicates number of black pieces on the board. Means checkers board. x2 represents number of red pieces on the board. Means checkers board. x3 represents number of black kings on the board. x3 represents number of black kings on the board. x4 represents number of red kings on the board, checkers board. And x5 represents number of red pieces, means number of red pieces is written by the black pieces. Therefore, which can be taken on blocks next time. Means, uh, this is x of x6 of b, the number of black pieces written by the red. Means, the black pieces are written by the red pieces. This can be replaced by the these are the five features are there in the board states. We can reference one by one. How we can reference the target function? Means, whereas come to the x1 as well as x3, reference about the indicates about the black pieces. Means, the x1 is called black pieces. X1 is indicates black pieces. X3 indicates black king pieces. And X2 as well as X4 is indicates discuss about the red pieces. Here X2 represents red pieces. Represents red pieces means about the red pieces. Whereas x2, x4 count uh, represents red king pieces. We can remember this thing. x1, x3 is about the black pieces. As well as x2 and x4 represents about the red pieces. And x5, x6 is represents means the black pieces are by replaced by the red pieces as well as x is in the uh, red pieces are replaced by the black pieces. Means somatic scan. It may be changed based on the games as well as choice of the place. It may be reference. It may be one player may be get some red. For example, the red place may the red pieces may be get some next chance automatically. It removes the black pieces and that place occupied by the red pieces. When the red turn will the red turn will be comes like that. If black pieces get some uh, next turn. It will remove the red pieces that place is occupied by the black pieces. Like that is about the x5 and x6. Here in this figure, in this in this uh, slide, there is some v, v cap means about this one. Representation means v cap indicates or represents associated uh, meaning black pieces of the sorry target function of the learning system. In this representation, we have some adding some symbols means about the W not, W one, W two, W three, W four, W five as well W six. Why? Because we have up to six. So we can wait. We can add some weight weights. W indicates some weight. Means whereas where W zero two W six is a numerical coefficients are weights to be obtained by learning algorithm. Means we can add some weight to the Input values coefficient you know, that is about numerical coefficients or numerical weights to the to obtain the learning algorithm is to adjust the weights. The weights W1 and W6 are will be determined relative importance of the different board features. Means W1 and W6 is indicate separate the 
relate means it is important of the different board chess means it is important of the different board features what is the need of to need of the adding ways to the this functions of these pieces main purpose of the adding this ways is is there any error is occur or is there any weight may be imbalancing output may becomes or imbalancing results may becomes to avoid that one to balance that weight we are moved the we are give the we can add the some weights means for the means we are balancing the target function value how we can balancing it how we can add it we can do right the specification of the machine learning problem at this time means about some representation yes whereas come to the we can take some input value i can that input value is multiply with some weight that is about the w0 w1 w2 as well as w3 as summation means we can take some input value and add some weights then we can summation all weights finally we can get the target function value means how can represents the target function means it is finally based on some value numerical value right specification of the machine learning this problem is at this time till we now worked on the choosing a type of the training experience choosing the target function and its representation the checkers learning can be summarized as as below means it is a partial designing of the checker scheme why because we have select the training experience choose the target function and represent it for the target function Based on that, we semi design about the these steps. Checkers playing means the first one is task about the playing a checker scheme. Performance measure means it is a percentage of the games won in a world tournament. And training experience opportunity to play against itself. We are represent target function based on this designing means based on the target training experience target function. and represent target function we design semi design semi checkers game or semi design checkers playing game all over the based on three features task as well as performance measure and training experience based on that we are represent the target function means v is equal to board of board implies r means whereas v is nothing but a target function of the designing system whereas b indicates board state as well as r indicates some real value Means score value. We can represent either positive or negative. Means target function v. Both this means we are win the game. It is plus hundred. We can lose the game minus hundred. A draw the game zero. Means finally we can represent the game will be completed. In case the game is not completed, it may be differs to the other version. I mean other significance. Right. Next. Target function is represented. Means that how we can represent the target function based on this designing system. Same designing about the checker scheme. Target function representation means V cap means target function. W zero initial value weights plus W one to the x one b as well as W one into x two of b means at the board states about some pieces red pieces as well as black pieces red kings as well as black kings and some replacement about the x y as well as x the first three steps the first three items are above correspond to the specification of the learning system is about the first one first step second as well as third means the first three items are above correspond to the specification of the learning system and the second the last two means about the target function as well as target function representation whereas the final two items constitute designing choices for the implementation of the learning problem means last two steps is represents designing choices or design chances for the choices of the implementation of learning system that is thing about next four step in designing a learning system is choosing a function approximation and all means in this up to three steps we are selecting means in this four step we are moved to the choosing a function approximation algorithm what it is indicates as well as what it shows what is playing this only 
designing a learning system discuss right in order to learn in order to learn the target function we require set of training examples means we are reach the we are find some learn, finding the target function we require some training examples each describing a specific board state about b and the training value v train of b for value means to define target function we require some set of training examples based on training examples means here number of alternate moves or number of moves are there based on that we are select the best one number of available resources are there we require some more concentration we require some options from that we are select the best one that must be have some significance means it leads to the win the game or be success the game so each describing specific board state about the board state specific board state and some training value v train of b for board state in other words each training examples in order to pair of board pair pair of pair, pair of the form that is about the b is equal to v train means about the v train means cap v subset means about the this subset no subset no subset about is the friends b train of b means this equation represents b indicates the board state and v train of b is indicates the training value of the means we has come to the board state means about the, for example board state it is about the board state is difference three place means board state is third board state its value is means its value is 60 so its value is 60 third state we can train the piece that value is 60 that indicates about the means v comma we set up piece b comma v train is in the b is a board state as well as v, v train of b is nothing but a board value training value of the board state what is the appearance again we can take some example previous example like that means probability of the winning, winning the game like same example here current position is the board state position current board state we can make a move this diagonal this diagonal as well this diagonal this diagonal here board state means about the middle of the board Training value means about the B, B, B of training value of B means about is year 50 percent, year 40 percent, 40, year 20, year 30. In case we can make any movement because we have some alternate moves, alternate possibilities, we can move, make a move from this towards this diagonal automatically. This B value is called middle means about some extra case about some fourth, uh, in case fourth board state, that value is 50. That reference. Right. For instance, the following many examples describes a board state B. About the space about the board state is B here. In which the black has won the game. Means black pieces have won the game. In a previous one, about the representation, about the board state X1 of B, X1 of 2, X1 of B, X1 of C, like that. Means X1 of B x2 of b x plus x3 of b here in your example black pieces are won the game means black pieces means the black pieces are won the game automatically there is the board is contains black pieces as well as red pieces whereas come to the black pieces x1 and x2 x3 sorry about the black pieces means x1 is black pieces x3 indicates black black king pieces x2 reference x1 x reference black pieces x3 reference black king pieces as well as x2 reference red pieces and x4 reference red 
king places. One second, we we'll check it. If this uh, this assumption is correct or not in previous exam, previous one. Right, you can check it. X one is reference black pieces. X three reference black kings. X two reference red pieces, and X four reference red king pieces. See. So, according to our example, our conversation. Black pieces are win the game. Means this black pieces are win the game. So automatically, the black pieces means the black pieces x one as well as x three have some values. Why? Because it win the won the game. So whereas x two comma x four lose the game means red pieces lose the game automatically. Its value becomes as zero. Means whereas Uh, black pieces are won the game. It has some value, either one or two or three like that. But whereas come to the red pieces, means red pieces will lose the game. So that value is become as a zero. Here you can observe this equation, this notation. Do you have some other premise? The black pieces are won the game. Automatic its value is indicates as per our analysis representation plus hundred here plus hundred. But when you observe this notation. Whereas x1 as well as x3 has some values, remain x4, x2, x3, x4, x4, and combination of the red and black and black and red remain with a sum of zero values. We can check it. Here x3 is equal to three. Sorry, x1 is equal to three. X3 is equal to one. Means these are the one the game automatically have some values. Remaining x2 and x3 lose the game. X x2 and x4 is lose the game. Automatically, x two is equal to zero, as well as x three is x four is also zero, as well as x five as well as x six has some combination of the red and black pieces. So automatically, the combination of red and black pieces are there. Automatically, the value becomes a zero. So finally, the black value is equal, final result value, the target function value is equal plus hundred. Why? Because the black pieces are in the game. That means here finally. We are represent me some more about the example. Me about the some representation is needed about the to approximation algorithm. Means to find the find the using a function approximation algorithm. We discuss what this algorithm is required for this. One approach is assigning which which is the learners the current approximation to V, and the next board state following the B for each it is assigning uh, again the program stand to move. V train of P rule for estimating the training examples. Here V of train as well as V cap successor of the B means in both states we are trying to win the game. How we can win the game? We can make best move automatically. It is the success. Our main motto is to win the game by making some movements, better movements are maybe. Best moves from different available moves means it has some moving. For example, board training is some of the V train means it is has some value V training. It is implies means about the V, the v success V cap success means success of the B. Success means we can make a movement. That moment must be have some representation. Means some success means we can move. We have some make a movement from the different available moves in the board state. Number of moves are there. From that moves we can make a move. That move that move must be leads to the win the game means success. Our target function is to win the game, to success the game. So based on the success, we are give us some value to this one. We try and be value. Whenever the success win the game, automatically that value becomes a plus hundred. When you lose the game, the reason means it's not success, means failure. So automatically it values become we try and values become as a minus hundred. We are win the game, it cannot be plus hundred. We can lose the game. It cannot be minus hundred. Right means here we can represent success. If game will be win the game, that value becomes a plus hundred. Lose the game, that value becomes a 
my son. What type of algorithm you can use for this? You can check it. Right. Next, add single weights in this. So, using an approximation algorithm. The second one is add single weights. First one is we are assigning a value for the estimate of training examples. Next one is add single weights. As a first step, we are must be define what we mean by the best fit to the training data. We require the best moment, best move of the training data. Means we are trying the data as a best moves. And once one common approach is define a best hypothesis or set of weights as that which minimizes the say, square error, minimizes some square error. That is between the that is between that is between the Training values and values be predicted by the hypothesis value. Means it is about the some training value is there here. It is E stands for the some error. Training error. The training error is maybe calculated by the training examples. Means summation B comma V train of B. This belongs to training examples. B comma means both states. V training value of B is some value. As well as it is calculated. Means about the some square is calculated by the. Is a Differentiation between the training value as well as target function value. Means V of training is it is because it is represents the training value of the board state and it is represents about the target value of the board state. Tra training values, uh, training value as well as target value of the board state. Training value of the board state, target value of the board state. We are differentiate. Based on differences, we are finding the square error. Means it is defined. How we can adjust? Means what is needed to squaring this one? To reduce the errors, means to reduce the mistakes or to reduce the faults from his side, from the game. Means we can make to reduce the wrong steps or wrong moves from the checker scheme. When you square, it means there any negative value is there. Squaring it is automatically somewhat positive. In case this error value is equal to somewhat zero, for example, in our case, we require algorithm that will be incrementally define the weights in new training examples become available, and that will be robust errors in the this estimate training values. One such algorithm is called least mean square or least mean square and least training square or least mean square least mean square training. Means we can calculate by using some term. least means squaring. For example, E value is equal to 0. One second. For example, E error value is equal to 0. There is no changes in the weights of the system. Means there is no changes. In case E value is equal to positive plus value, you may be increase the sum adding some weights. Or E value is equal to minus. Value means negative value. We can reduce the weights. Adjust some weights in proportionally. That is what means. Whereas E value is equal to zero, means there is no changes. There is no change in the weights. There is no adjustments. There is no need of the adjustments in the weights. And there is a plus means positive. It is somewhat chance for the to add to increase the weights proportionally. And there is a value. E value error value is equal to minus means negative value. It decreases the adjustments. Like that. And then we can main ambition about the adjusting weights. Means you can reduce, you can reduce the error rate or reduce the mistake, uh, wrong moves in the checker scheme. Or we can reduce the some mistakes. Right. LMS rule is updated. For each training example, B comma B train of B. Use the current weights of B. Means about the current value. Current current weights to be calculated. We cap. That's about the target function. For each weight of a update is means W i is implies W1 plus n. It is about the numerical values in coefficient value. That is somewhat very minimum, means 0 0.1 or 0 point like that. Why? Because based on the weight adjustments, that value may be varied. And some input values, some input values. First, we can differentiate about the training values as well as training value as well as target function value. Then we can multiply that input values. Finally, we can adjust the 
based on update the weights in that. Next, LMS least mean square training rule is one of the different uh, efficient algorithm that adjusts the weights small amount in the direction that reduces the errors in the training suppose like uh, small value means 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 like that. And we discuss means next discuss about the final designing, final step of the designing and learning system. Means the final last step about the designing a learning system. That is about the nice. The final designing of our checkers learning system can be described by four distinct program program models that represents the central components in many learning systems. Means finally we have come to the final step designing a learning system. That step is final designing. It describes four program models, different program models. First one is performance system. Second one is critic component. Third one is generalizer. And fourth one is experiment generator or experiment generator. Four components are there, four models are there. Four model components are there. Means first model is performance system. Second model is critic. And third one is generalizer and fourth one is experiment generator. Whenever, when, you, when we can observe this figure, that is about the anti-clockwise direction, we will come to the performance system. First we can start from here. This is about the first component, second component, third component as well as fourth component. Means first model and second model and third model. The first model has some relationship between the have some operation, it generates some output that is called solution trace. That output uh, that output is become as input to the second model, that is the critic model. The critic model is also makes some operation, it is generates some output. That output is training examples. And these training examples is uh, as input to the Generalizer means it is accept the input uh, run example to this input to the generalizer and make some operation to some uh, something internally in this component or in this model and it produces some output that is about the hypothesis in the form of the hypothesis and this hypothesis also take as input to the external generator that component that model is generated some output that output is called new problem as well as new initial game world state. Means each and every component has some similarity, has some sequence of similarities there. One model may be get some, produce some output, that output is become as input to the next model. Means the first model may be generated some output, that first model output is the output is become as input to the second model, that is about this relation. As well as the second model is also generated some output. That output is become to the input as to the next model, that is about the third model. Means first model output is become as input to the second model. The second model output is become as input to the third model. As well as third model is generate some output, that income to the fourth model. Again, the fourth model come to the generate some output, it becomes input to the first model. Means some cyclic representation is there. As well as some similarities there. When I observe this figure, means it has similarity as well as without input, there is no output. We can observe this one. So each and every component takes some output as well as each and component will be take some necessary actions as well as necessary steps. We discuss in about this next class, next session. Right now. Up to now, we discuss about the designing a learning system in this session, about the movie, especially four phases, four steps. That is thing about the four steps designing a learning system. First step is completed, choosing training experience, target function, choosing a target function, or second function, second step is also completed, and choosing reference of target function. This step is also completed. And four steps, choosing a function approximation, it is also completed. And finally, we have come to the final designing step. We have some discussion in this class. But whereas come to this one, training experience means 
we are getting some good training experience here from this step. Good training experience from this step. And here we can get some target function means the target function is not the main object of this function is to win the game based on the to win the game. Win the game based on the selection of the target function. And this one is representation means the target function is represents either win the game it is indicates about the plus hundred. If you lose the game, it is minus 100 or uh, you draw the game, it values 0. Representation. Function approximation here, function approximation step is mainly discussed about the error analysis about these steps or maybe about the some makers of moments. Here we discuss about the LMS least mean square error. We are, we are discuss about this. Errors means least mean square error to reduce the weights as well as to reduce the error rate. Up to now, we have completed. The next class, we discuss about the next session. We discuss about the final designing step of the designing learning system. Thank you, thank you, and all. Thank you, ma. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.